Hey guys, I want to welcome you to this trading video. My name is Shane at AwakeFX, and in this one, we're going to discuss displacement, which is a very important term used by Inner Circle Trader uh, in his trading. And it is a concept which, if you understand it well, it'll allow you to get better entries into your trades and understand when trends are changing. So let's have a look at the charts and let's see what it's all about. Okay, guys, so what is displacement? So the definition I would like to use is that it is a strong energetic move that creates a market structure shift and it can consist of one candle or a series of candles so i'll show you an example here shortly but in a nutshell displacement is a strong energetic move that creates a market structure shift. And I spoke about that in lesson number one under market structure. So if you haven't watched that, definitely watch that before this lesson and it'll make a little bit more sense. So let's uh, take a look here. So here guys, we have a chart of the NASDAQ. It's a five minute chart. Now I've marked up this horizontal line here um, on this previous high. So let's say we consider this an area of resistance and I'm looking for a potential short from this area moving lower, but I'm only interested in taking a short trade if price breaks this area, has strong displacement, and a break of market structure or a market structure shift. And once that happens, I'm interested in taking a short because many times the price can continue moving higher. So I want to see the market give me evidence of a short trade. So as I mentioned down below, let's say we've got this kind of uptrend happening here. Price is making higher highs, higher lows, we're going higher. This is quite interesting here. This low here has taken it out the previous low here, but has it taken the low out with displacement? It hasn't. So usually when we see this happen, we kind of wait to see what happens next. So price here breaks the previous high, higher low. We're going up towards a higher high. Now I'm in chart replay mode. So let's move forward here, candle by candle, to see what happens. And do we get a short potential entry? And do we get displacement? The price moves up, and then we get a nice break above. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, that's a very aggressive candle there. Okay, so here we go. Look. The price has moved higher, and then we had a move down from that high to that low, move higher, and then we broke through the, this low here and this low here. So this is an example of displacement. These candles, one, two candles. Let's move forward, see what we see next. Oh wow, look, that's a proper displacement now. So it's a, it's a real sign that the market wants to move lower. It's taken out all these previous lows here. And also it's in an area of previous resistance that we've marked up. So this is what we call displacement. So when I see the, the, this kind of um, market action occur, then what I'm doing is I'm looking for a potential short trade. Where would I be looking for a short? Somewhere up here in this zone here. Okay, I'd be looking for a short up around this zone here. So let's move forward. Okay, we're even breaking lower again. That's definitely a strong displacement. We, can't, we have to agree on that. And then price moves higher. Here we've got what I'll talk about in upcoming lessons. We have a bearish order block here, this candle. Okay, it's what we call a bearish order block. I'll, I'll talk about that in an upcoming lesson. Price moves up, taps in there, taps again, and then moves away, lower. There's your short trade. But what signified potential entry? The displacement of the previous trend, and this is your entry. Okay, when I trade, I'm generally looking for two to one reward to risk ratio. So I might, you might have your stop above the high there, you may take your entry somewhere around here, and then target maybe previous lows. Keep it nice and simple. There's 2.5 reward to risk ratio. 
although price may continue on much further. But that's an example of displacement, how it can be used for a potential short trade, and then the opposite would be true for a long. So let me just draw a little quick diagram of that. And here we've got one. Here's one I prepared earlier. So if you have a downtrend, price breaking lower highs and lower lows, and then price has boom, a move up, which we call displacement if it's a good move up. So we don't want to move up like this. See? We don't want to move like that. We want a nice energetic move. And then price potentially come back and we look for certain entry criteria around here. It could be a fair value gap, which I'll speak about in an upcoming lesson, an order block. It could be an imbalance. It could be an optimum trade entry or a Fibonacci retracement into an area of value. So these are concepts I'll speak about in upcoming lessons. But this lesson is on displacement. There was the movement displacement. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. Please drop a, a comment down below if you enjoy the lesson. Uh, and please uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this to improve your trading. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.